Hey everyone, this is Mr. Bourne, your math teacher from Minnesota, and this is a guide on how to use the binomial distributions program. This program will work with the T84+, Plus, the T83+, Plus, and the T84 Silver Edition Color, the new one. Okay, this program will help you answer questions that are like this. Suppose a school has students who prefer chocolate milk 80% of the time. Ten students file into the cafeteria and each chooses either chocolate or skim milk. What is the probability of, and we've got, you know, three questions here, it's a three for one, exactly six students choosing chocolate, at most six students choosing chocolate, and at least six students choosing chocolate. All right, real quick math primer here. There is a formula for calculating binomial uh, distributions. And uh, this is, this kind of plays off of uh, expanding a binomial, you know, something bigger to the, than the power of two, where we have our P, which is the probability of success, our Q, which is the probability of failure. They both add up to 100%, and uh, like that. All right, so let's run the program. Let's put in some numbers and see how this thing works. All right, so it's on your calculator, your nice little TI-84 Plus here. Go to the program menu, and you'll see a program called Binome. Run that program, and you get a splash screen here. It kind of tells you what it is. Results are stored in lists, list prob, and list success. You'll see what that is in just a couple of minutes. Press enter one more time. Okay, now the first thing it prompts you for is trials. Each student coming into the cafeteria is considered one trial. And there's going to be 10 of them coming in, so we're going to put in 10. Probability of success, you can enter either 0 0.8 or 0.8. Either will work. And desired R, this is uh, the how many successes we want. And so uh, the middle one, it said exactly six. The others were at least six and at most six. So our desired R is going to be six successes. All right. It just did a whole bunch of things really quick here. Uh, so here's uh, our results screen. Let's kind of uh, take a look at what that means and do a little bit of interpretation. Okay, so here is the screen, uh, what you just saw on the calculator. If you're following along, it'll be on your screen right now. At least six refers to um, adding up all of these binomial probabilities. Uh, so, for example, uh, at least six, this number is from adding up all of these together. Yeah, add them up. So it's the probability of six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Because, hey, six, at, you know, at least, that includes all the others going up to ten. All right, next one. Exactly six. This number is from this calculation. It's the smallest Nice and short and sweet, easy one to do. You can do it manually, but hey, this kind of does it for you. All right, continuing on. At most six, probably the most tedious one to do. Uh, this one adds up probabilities of uh, exactly zero, exactly one, and all the way up to six, because it says at most. Now, uh, a lot of times I see students forget to add the probability of P0. That does not equal zero. That's the probability of exactly nobody choosing chocolate milk. But at any rate, these all get added up and we get about 12% probability. All right, back to the calculator. Let's see what the next screen was. Okay, so here we go. And then after this one, let's see, you'll notice some jiggling little dots up in the upper right corner. That's just pausing it so you can see, you know, what's on the screen there. Hitting uh, the enter key on your calculator, you get this next screen here. Now, suck is short for successes. And the success of uh, the chance of exactly zero students choosing chocolate milk is this really small number here. It goes into scientific notation, given they're especially small. But this is exactly one, exactly two, exactly three. The reason I've got this screen here is it's kind of a, a handy way to reference to see the individual uh, probabilities. All right, so let's kind of keep going on here. That's what this means. All right, so so this is the uh, interpretation here. I, I didn't put p of zero on here, but p of one, that's what that one is. 
probability two, probability three, here's the fourth one, fifth one, sixth one. You know, teachers like you to show your work, so please do it, right? Uh, this is great for verifying that your calculations are right on. Okay, now, um, this program can do a lot, right? But sometimes it, uh, it can't do those little special cases. When you get a question that's kind of like this, what if you wanted to know the probability of less than six? Okay, well, the, the program did not specifically address the answer to this question, right? This is a new one, and this is where you would have to add up the probability of exactly zero, one, two, three, four, and five. So in other words, we would have to do the, the, first, uh, the first six that we would calculate. Okay, well, the, there's a way to do it. Okay, so after this screen, it'll prompt you if you want to do another. Let's just say no for now. <laughs> and I'm going to hit clear here. Now, all of the results of all the probabilities were stored in a couple of lists. You can see these by pressing stat and then going to edit. Now, um, I bet these look familiar. List 1, list 2, list 3. Press the right arrow key and go past list 4. You will find two new lists created for you. The program created these. And these list the uh, successes and the probabilities all the way up to 10. You can arrow down and you can see them all if you want. There you go. Very handy for something like this where we want to know uh, the probability of less than 6. How do we find that? We got to add up 0 through 5. So that would be this one, second one in the list, probability of 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now since we're beginning with 0, we got to kind of be careful here. This is the first one in the list, second one in the list, third, fourth, fifth, sixth one in the list. So is there a quick way to add up elements in the list, 1 through 6? Yes, there is. Okay, back at the home screen, press second stat to get to our list menu. We're going to use the math operation sum. So that would be number five here. We're going to ask the calculator to sum up the first six elements in the list called probability. So here we sum up the, um, we get the name of the list under the names submenu and there we go, number seven. And using some commas here, we're going to explicitly say we want the sum of one through the six. There we go. And hit enter. And there's our answer, 0.032. Uh, that's probability, about 3%. OK, well, that about does it here. Uh, you can find. Uh, links to um, a prepared document I made, a complete program listing. You can download a PDF onto your tablet or yeah, print it out if you want. Um, and uh, links to this video here. Uh, it's a PDF file, like I said. So uh, go to andyborn.com slash math and you'll find this and a few other very handy programs. All right, thanks for watching.